Hello, beautiful, magical beings. Welcome back. I'm Kristen Seymour. I am energy alchemist and transformational prosperity coach. If you've not already done so, make sure you hit the subscribe, like, get notified of new videos each week as they come out. I am not guaranteeing a day because I'm allowing my energy to really speak to me and to really be in the values that I live by, which is today's topic. So I do promise a new video each week and I just at this moment can not commit to each day that that's going to come out um, as I'm restarting my channel and really getting into the flow. Um, just a little bit about me as I dabble in it and then I come out of it, but I am a 2-4 projector within human design, so I do like to hermit and I love my network as well as being that emotional projector. And so what I've learned about myself is to really allow my emotional waves to come and go and that's when I know when is right for me to record the videos for you. And I want you to experience me in my highest um, version of myself, um, even on the bad days, right? So that you are getting the most out of each of these videos that you can have tangible next steps and to really shift and change your frequency, your energy um, very quickly by watching these videos. So today we're going to talk about the values that I live by. I've spent many years really understanding values and needs and let's just be honest, like sometimes it can be a lot when people are like, and what are your values? Mm, okay, whatever. I am sick of repeating my values. We're going through the list and having to redefine my values day after day. Well, guess what? Values can change and they typically do change over, over time. However, needs, 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 needs must be met and they don't always change or change that much. So why am I even talking about this, right? Because sometimes our needs are already met. If you look into Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you have needs that are like food and safety and we, in like shelter, right? We have all of those things met, especially um, if you're watching this, you have internet, like you have this connection. And so what then transpires as we evolve if you, as human beings is this value hierarchy that we have and our values are actually can sometimes have needs that are desiring to be met. And there is a whole long journey that I will share um, about how I got to this spot really understanding my values because my needs weren't being met. My needs within my values weren't being met. And this had happened in, in work. This had happened in friendships. This had happened um, with my family. And when those needs that are expressed as values are not getting met, we tend to get triggered. And I have created this absolutely wonderful worksheet to really help you get very clear on your values that are actually trying to express themselves as needs so that you can not only understand your triggers, but you can make better decisions. And my life has honestly changed by, by doing this worksheet. And even with my last coach, when she's having me understand my values, I literally brought up <laughs> the worksheet and showed her what my values and my needs are. And that is how I live my life. And it is so amazing because it's tangible. It's super tangible. And you can, I can, especially with my clients, I can understand what their values and needs are by them talking to me. I have this intuitive ability. And I'm not here to tell them what it is. I'm here to guide them, to be that conduit for them to figure it out themselves, which is why I created this because if more people had this in their fingertips, they would make decisions that they are more aligned with it. They really truly know that it is their choice. It is their being. It is, it is who they are that's making those choices and not some outside influence. 
because I'm here to really help you step into that empowered version of yourself for you to make those decisions from your heart, from your soul. I've used this before it was even in worksheet format. I've used this with multiple clients to help them make big decisions like where to live and what jobs to take and whether or not they're going to change their careers. Because what we realized by doing this exercise is there were things in their life that they were allowing as an energy distraction, that they were allowing into their lives, but it wasn't actually truly what they decided that they wanted. And they were living by these values that society had put upon what we do at a certain age or what we're supposed to do for our families. And the truth was it wasn't in alignment and it was causing physical, mental stress on the body, emotional stress on the body. And at the same time, we were finding out where things were being triggered. And and the more that we're being triggered, it's it's an area for us to look at, to really see within us either what wants to be healed or where we need to really look at the boundaries and the communication with others so that we can live our most vibrant, amazing life. And so over the years, I've worked with psychologists, I've worked with coaches, I've worked with healers to really come up with what's true for me. And what I've noticed is when I start to get frustrated in a situation, especially when I first learned this work and I I used this worksheet, I was able to really understand that I felt a certain feeling, a low vibration feeling, which is like your anger, your frustration, your resentment, your bitterness, because I value or I needed or I cared about one of these values here. And by understanding that, it took the pressure off. It took the pressure off of, I should be feeling a certain way. And this true inherent knowing that these needs that I have are within me. And when I live by them, because these don't typically change, um, I will, I will state how I do believe one of mine might change in the future, but these don't typically change because they are really who we are. So now when I find myself getting frustrated, I understand why I'm feeling a certain way and it helps me to make my next most informed decision to move forward and sometimes that's the alignment sometimes that's not doing something and it has made my life so much more clear which I think we could all use with all of the things we're getting inundated with on a daily basis to really understand ourselves more to make these really calm, cool, collected, peaceful decisions for ourselves. So what are some of these categories of needs that we might have? So one of those needs is connection. And we can really have this connection with people. And it really brings that like, friendship, that trust, the communication tends to be really important for you. We can also have creativity and play. And that's like the adventure within you, you know, really looking at that present moment and, and having this joy kind of come in. We can have this freedom and serenity, which, which is actually one of my my key, it's my number one value that I live by because I will get frustrated and upset when people waste my time because I value my freedom. And when I understood that I had more compassion because with the other person, because they don't really know my value or don't share the same value as I do. And I can then shift into how is it going to make me feel better to draw a boundary here. And then I can make a more informed decision. So that might mean getting off the phone of a conversation that keeps going in circles, right? It might be stepping out of of a circle. It might be not doing something just because you have the the freedom, um, which is huge. 
another category is like motivation, purpose, success, and that like feeling of recognition in all areas of your life. Um, another one of mine in particular is a safety and well being, and. I really value my safety and it's not always just physical safety, it's that mental and emotional safety. So for me, being able to share with my partner, with my friends, my deep feelings is very important to me. And so I have made decisions in my life that support this. And at first I thought I needed to do something differently and then realize that this is something I really value and I need and I care about. And when that need is met in my life, then I'm able to actually show up better for myself and for other people. Another one of the values is spirituality and this like peace and calmness that comes with it. And I'm a very spiritual person and that's actually not one of my top needs. Now, I did mention that I do see one of these potentially changing in my life. And one of those needs that I can see as a potential um, shift would be my safety and my well being. And that's because at this current moment in my life, as I'm recording this, I do not have a significant other. But I do have this inherent knowing that when I find my partner and my soulmate, that that is not necessarily going to be my number one need, or it's not my number two need, because he is going to help with that, especially that physical um, and potentially financial safety. And so that like within, you know, health and relationships and all of that, that might shift and something else might be up there, which is why I created this free values worksheet for you to be able to figure out. And it literally takes you less than five minutes. I do this with my clients and it's a really easy way to see which one of those six categories for you is really showing up. And what I've done within the worksheet is you actually get these like little charts and graphs because I love Excel and it's in Google Sheets, but it's a way for you to, to see, are you a person who has ranked all of these and they're like 90% and above means that you're not having a lot of clarity in your life, your decisions. So then you can go back into the worksheet and really find that sense of trueness for you. I I did have a client like that where we went through the chart and all of a sudden like everything was a ranked as a four or a five and at the chart at the end of the day everything was above 90 percent or above like 85 percent or something like that and when you looked at it on paper she's like okay maybe maybe I don't actually care about creativity and play as much as I do about my safety and well-being and so we were able to adjust those so then she could make clearer decisions on the next step in her career and her life and the places that she was going to move to because it was going to be aligned for her and when it was aligned for her it felt so much better in her body when these needs that are values that are taken care of it is life-changing. Let me tell you, it is life-changing. Um, I had another client literally a few days ago that when we did this worksheet, I could tell him what his his need was that wasn't being met in that moment. And we did the worksheet so that he could see the actual play-by-play of the graph in the chart. And he was able to really even look at the chart and he goes, that's why my freedom will always be number one. It's, it's not, um, it's not creativity, even though that's really high and I'm really passionate about that. It is that freedom for him. And when people take his time or he doesn't have the ability to choose, or he has to choose something days ahead of time, it doesn't feel good. And therefore, it translates into these lower vibration emotions, which he's then emitting that he doesn't want to emit, all because he had a need that went unmet. So within there, there's actually a, a statement that you can use. You can understand the, the feelings. So when my safety, my well-being, when I have choice of freedom and being able to travel and be adventurous, my life feels lighter. It feels joyous. It feels like I'm on top of the world. 
when I am not able to, to have this, you know, freedom, let's say like I'm taking a course and I think I need to show up every day, which I did in Sedona and thinking I needed to be there when I already knew the stuff and it was time for me to leave. And I didn't honor that with my, within myself. So then I was dishonoring my intuition. And when I dishonored my intuition, it won't show up as strong because I'm not listening and it didn't feel good. It felt very low. It felt um, as something was weighing me down where when I allowed myself to leave early, when I allowed myself to do these things a little bit differently and to communicate my needs of, you know, the freedom, the choice, and not having a care with other people that I was able to make those choices and I was able to communicate those choices, which is something I've learned over many different conversations, many different jobs. And I can tell you that this one, this one that I've created, this one that I've researched, this one that I've spent thousands of dollars on therapists and coaches and healers, this one feels the best because I can understand myself. And even sometimes as just understanding, even though I might not be communicating it with other people, understanding why I live by those things and why I like having that freedom and why I like this safety and well-being when, um, we, when I'm asked to go somewhere with a group of people into carpool, I understand that for me, that doesn't feel good unless I'm truly committed to leaving at a certain time, coming home at a certain time. If I feel that I might want to leave or come back earlier or to show up later or maybe not even go at all, I have a really hard time committing because I love my freedom. And when I'm able to communicate that to other people in a way that feels good and aligned, it's not that I don't want to spend time with someone that I want to drive separately. It's I don't want to drive separately because I know that I need a decent amount of downtime to myself. I know that my freedom of choice and being able to leave when I want to leave is of utmost importance to me. And when I've been able to communicate that to other people, I've been able to actually have my friendships and my relationships flourish a lot more. Being able to communicate with parents, with loved ones, why we do certain things and being able to tell them like, I value safety. I value my well-being. I I value creativity and play or I value my freedom and serenity. And if I don't have a choice in this, it doesn't feel good to me. And when we're able to communicate that, it's almost like we're, we're opening our heart and we're being seen for who we are. And that is vulnerable and at the same time, super empowering because as the other person sees you, you're able to like drop into that more vulnerable state a little bit more, but you're also able to connect. And when we're able to connect with someone, we feel seen and we feel heard and we feel supported. And who doesn't want that in our lives? I don't want to live in a life that that's not the case. And... When someone can't respect my need for freedom, my need for safety, then I also know that they're not the right person to be in my life, which is a hard lesson, sometimes a sad lesson, um, but it's an important one because knowing who we are is the most important thing that we can do on this planet. Well, that was absolutely amazing. I definitely went on a little tangent, but if you're interested in understanding your values and what your true needs are, because most of your needs are already met, um, make sure you check out my free values worksheet, which is linked down in the description below. And if you're someone who really likes that one-on-one attention, feel free to book a introductory session with me where I can go over these with you in person, well, in person, well, on Zoom, and we can really figure out what's right for you. And it's also part of like the clarity that you can have within this worksheet. So go ahead, sign up. Let me know how this resonates for you. And if you already know what your values and your needs are, I would love to hear about them. So drop them in the comments and make sure you subscribe, 
save, hit the bell notification so that you get notified of my new videos each week and have a magical, wonderful week.